Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So jumping straight into today's new video, the other week Morphe very kindly sent over their new 18 palette collection. So this collection features four different palettes and the 18B is the one that really stood out to me. It caught my attention. Oh, I think it's so pretty. I love these like olivey green khaki shades, the bright yellow. The moment I saw it, I knew that I had to play around with it. So that is what we are gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be creating a look featuring this palette. So I really hope that you are excited and enjoy today's video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram, which is linked down below. And let's just go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Alrighty, so I have a fresh bare base and we are starting with the face first today. And I'm taking the 43 Beauty Turmeric Face Milk. This one here is formulated to revitalize, brighten and moisturize the skin. And I've been really enjoying these face milks lately. I love how they are all different colors. They look so adorable in my collection. And check out that glow that it has given my skin. So I let that sink into my skin before taking the Cover Effects Total Cover Cream Foundation in G Plus 40 on my Nikia Joy Cosmetics Sponge. Now, if you are after a full coverage foundation, this one is for you. It literally covers anything and everything and I love it for that. Not gonna lie though, this time around, I hadn't used this foundation in a hot minute and it kind of had a weird clay scent to it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to hurry up and use it up so I can go get a fresh one. But I don't wanna just chuck it out now because it still sat so beautifully on my skin. And because of that, I really didn't need to add any more coverage to my skin. So I'm mixing it up from my Tarte Shape Tape today and taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain just to brighten under my eyes and down the center of my face. I'm taking the ColourPop No Filter Translucent Setting Powder to lock those liquids into place. So I'm taking that powder on my damp sponge and pressing it under my eye area to get a smooth, silky finish. And then I'm just taking a brush for the rest of my face. So I'm actually gonna move to the eyes now, and the reason we're doing that is so that we can beautifully blend the eyeshadow into the base that we just did. So I'm starting with the P. Louise base, applying that all over my eyes and under my eyes to prep for the shadows. Now I'm taking a shadow shield and popping that under the eyes to catch any eyeshadow fallout so that it doesn't wreck our base. Definitely not the cutest look, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> So the first shade I'm taking from the palette is Got Paid and I'm applying this in my outer corner and kind of making like a winged shape before gradually applying this into my crease. And I like to really pack the shadow on first so that it adheres to that wet base for maximum pigmentation and then I will go in and blend out those edges. Next shade we're using is Stax and I'm applying this just above the previous shade. And if I'm ever like, oh, this isn't really the shape that I wanted, then I'll simply go back in with the brush that we use to apply the eyeshadow base to soften out those edges. And then I'll go back in with the eyeshadow to adjust the shape to how I want it to be. I'm taking the next shade, C Note, on a more fluffy brush and just simply blending out everything we've done so far and keeping it to that guided shape that I've created. It's time to take this look to the next level. So I'm taking the shade Jackpot and I'm using that to blend out the edges of the whole look, make everything soft and blended. And I'm really taking that out past my brow to create that really like blown out, elongated look. Time to cut the crease. So to do this step, following my natural crease shape. Then I'm taking some makeup remover on a cotton tip to remove everything below that cut crease. That way there's no excess shadow. We're gonna have a clean canvas to work with when we go in with some more eyeshadows a little later on. I'm going back in with the darkest shade we've used to carve out the edges of the cut crease we just created to really re-intensify the look. Then I'm going back in with some more makeup remover to sharpen up the edges of the cut crease for a nice, sharp, precise look. 
back in with the eyeshadow base and see how the base is now its true color whereas before when we applied on the lid it had a green tinge to it so that's why we went in with some makeup remover to clean up the lid so that we had a clean canvas to work with now I want to diffuse that harsh line between the base and eyeshadows so I'm taking all of the shades we've used so far starting from the darkest green in the outer corner all the way to that yellow in the center of my lid to create a beautiful blend and gradient. So I'm popping down a glitter glue to the inner half of my lid before going in with the star of the show, the shade cha -ching. It's the most beautiful, like lime green, olivey shade. I'm obsessed with it. And once that's down, I'm then blending between that shimmer and the mattes to diffuse any harsh lines. Let's work on the lower lash line, and you guys guessed it, I'm doing the same process that I did on the lid. Then I'm removing that shadow shield, and I'm so glad that I had it on because it really did catch some fallout. Then I'm doing some final little touch-ups before taking the NARS Climax Mascara and applying a coat of that to my lashes to prep them for some falsies. For falsies, I didn't want to go in with anything too dramatic, but I did want a little bit of drama on that outer corner. So today I'm taking the Tati TL21 lashes and I love how they looked. So switching back to the face, I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess to bronze and warm up my complexion, sculpt my cheekbones, all that good stuff. And then for blush, I'm taking the Milani Luminoso to add a little flush of color back to my cheeks. It is time for highlighter and I'm going in with a beautiful loose highlighter from Meraki Cosmetics. And when I'm applying a loose highlighter, I like to take a setting spray first to give the highlight something to adhere to. And oh my goodness, guys, how pretty is this highlighter? I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> I'm taking the shade Barzillion to highlight my inner corner and I got a little bit too enthusiastic so I just used a brush to soften it out and I love how it looked. I was having trouble picking a lip color because the greens that I had in my collection didn't match the eyes and then I was looking at nudes but I was like, you know what, I really want a bold lip today. So I decided to try something. Okay, hear me out here. So I watched a video where Manny MUA tried TikTok hacks. Now I know that does not sound very promising, but one that worked was applying a lip balm and then an eyeshadow over the top to create a lip color. And I was like, okay, cute. Like I would love to have a lip color match the eyes perfectly. So I gave it a go and um, yeah, that did not work. <laughs> So I thought, okay, new strategy, let's use a nude liquid lipstick as a base, then go in with the eyeshadow. So I took the shade C Note and it actually worked. Now I 10 out of 10 would not recommend using eyeshadow as a lip product, but if you're like me and you're doing it for a cute Insta pic, then it's okay. <laughs> To hide any patchiness, I'm taking a ColourPop So Juicy Gloss and applying that over the top. Now, by this point, I was just having fun with the lip color, so I'm actually taking the shade Cha Ching, the same shimmer that's on our lid, popping that on the center of my lips, and I actually love how it all turned out. And there you have it. This is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this fun green look inspired you in some way. And if it did or you just enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.